Hello students, here we are going to learn about OBS, Optical Burst Switching. So first of all, OBS is Optical Network Technology and that aims to improve the use of uh, optical network provided there and uh, also the improve the utilization of the uh, optical network resources uh, compare compare with the previous two ocs and the uh, ops so using some implementation of the wdm and data transmission technology so that transmitted data in an optical fiber by establishing several channel on each channel echo uh, corresponding to the specific light of wavelength so in this obs is used in a core network and view as a feasible compromise between the existing uh, circuit switching and the packet switching possible uh, uh, provided in the previous two case and the obs switching has uh, several distinctive features uh, also available compared to the ocs and ops so first introduce as a compromise of ocs and ops i'm also explain so OBS is a packet based and hence more bandwidth efficient than optical circuit switching. So the technological requirement to implement OBS are relaxed as compared to the OPS means optical packet switching. So in OBS packet are assembled into larger data known as a data burst. So the variable nature or the variable things that the multiple kind of data has can be considered as a larger data known as the data burst so for every burst a uh, burst header projector is known as a bhp or the system is known as a bhps so the data burst assemble and the bhp generation is created in obs edge node so they provide the features compared to the ocs and the ops so in this case the bus switch is also provide some kind of data uh, for that the switching purpose so also that the bus is transmitted over a data channel and the bhp is sent over a dedicated control channel to the particular the same node and then also provided that the particular type of the uh, generation of this case and uh, each pair or each case in the obs is provided some enhanced feature compared to the previous uh, two uh, things uh, ocs means optical circuit switching and the obs means oh sorry uh, ops optical packet switching so the particular uh, the while the data was switch optically so bhps so they burst hazard production uh, project system i also discuss in that bhp so they provide are converted to the electrical domain for processing and converted back to the optical domain to transfer to the particular next node available for them and switch the channel entirely in the optical domain using an electronic uh, technique. So process of assemble this packet or MAC bus at the edge of the bus are assigned to the wavelength channel and the switch through trans uh, uh, transparently without any convergences. So and the last the deassemble into the original packet. So the node need to for the any kind of optical buffer. So OBS has combined advantage of OCS and OPS also in this network. So switching of aggregated burst or mega packet because in terms of the higher data rate or in the terms of the larger bandwidth occupied to transmit the particular data. So in terms of tens of kilobyte long. So in band and out of band switch control using a burst control packet. So BSP processing is required uh, to transmit ahead of this burst kind of data so bcp alert switching node of the size and the destination of the coming bus in the incoming port so they provide so all these features are provided using a bcp processing so bus sent without required confirmation after time of the offset period and eliminates need for the optical any kind of buffering is uh, required so required switching in microsecond range so they provide transmission from the 
particular uh, db data burst so here this provide bcp processing they provide this kind of feature i am already explained uh, so they provide one kind of uh, data so burst control packet uh, transmitted ahead of the burst so they provide a switching node to and the destination part and confirming then the offset time period so all this kind of this provide into a bcp processing on bcp is a burst control packet so they provide a varial kind of data. So this is an example of two pros two optical switching in the case of the OBS switching optical burst uh, switching. So burst switching uh, is a variant of PPS network uh, phonating packet switching. So in the burst switching, a source node transmit a header followed by a packet burst. Uh, so the header is transmitted at the lower speed on at out of band control channel and all the, the most uh, proposal assume an out of bound control channel so an intermediate node read the packet header and the activates its switch to connect the following burst stream to the appropriate output port if a suitable output port is available then and then this kind of processing is there and this is provided by the bcb processings and if the output port is not available though in this case the burst is either buffered or in case the a higher number of buffer is already there so then they uh, the consider as a dropped so the main difference between the bus switching and the conventional photonic packet switching has to do with the fact that a burst can be fairly long compared to the packet duration in the packet switching so in the bus switching if the bars are sufficiently long so it is possible to ask for reserved bandwidth in the network ahead of time before sending the burst so the various protocols have been proposed for this purpose i'm considering one example such like as a j80 just enough time so workflow is the a source node waiting to send a burst first send out of header on the control channel alerting the node along the part that the burst will allow so it follows the header by transmitting the burst after certain time period and this period is large enough to provide the node sufficient time to process the header and set the switch to the switch to burst along when it arrives so that the additional buffering is not needed for this purpose at the node so the overall bus switching is essentially a variation of the photonic packet switching where packets have variable and fairly large size and little and little or no buffering is used at the node so uh, this obvious uh, is uh, compared to advantage uh, from ocs and the ops